Welcome back, everyone. Time is 6.54. We want to get you ready with these top stories as you head out the door. Well, we are also getting ready for one of the busiest travel days of the year. AAA expects this Memorial Day weekend to be the most active in two years. Projects nearly 40 million people will either hit the road or fly this weekend. And we have a traffic alert indicator. One lane of westbound Highway 20 will be open starting at 9. It's a section near Newcomb Street and Railroad Street. They hope to have everything reopened, though, by 3 this afternoon. Grieving families demanding answers in Texas. Law enforcement's response to the Uvalde school shooting now under a microscope. The Texas Department of Public Safety is looking into it, but they say that officers did the right thing by not going into that classroom. That gunman barricaded himself. A former Scottsboro police officer will be in court today. Ryan Manning is back in the Jackson County Jail after his soon-to-be ex-wife claimed he harassed her through text. His bond hearing is set for 10 this morning. The Rocket City Trash Pandas are looking to bounce back with a doubleheader at Toyota Field. The Pandas dropped the series opener against the Tennessee Smokies last night. The first game of the doubleheader starts at 4 tonight. Well, this, of course, will make up for Tuesday night's rain out. And the 2022 Running Lane Track Championship starts in Huntsville today. It starts at 6.30 tonight at Milton Frank Stadium. Almost 750 runners from 28 different states are in the Rocket City. And by the way, they'll also be racing tomorrow at 1. Teams from the National Weather Service will survey damage from storms that battered Morgan County yesterday. They're trying to determine if the damage was caused by strong winds or a quick spin-up tornado that hit near Odin Ridge. Fortunately, no one was hurt. A lot better weather today, Stormy. Thankfully, we are seeing a lot better weather. We see the last little remnants of those storms blow out of our area and move eastward of us. So thankfully, it's shaping up to be an absolutely beautiful day today and a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Temperatures will max out in the mid-70s and we'll really be seeing temperatures reach the 90s by the time our Memorial Day weekend comes to a close. I do have to ask, is it humid out there with all that rain? It is a little bit humid outside, I will say. Dew point should be around the 60s mm -hmm. as we round out the day. So that is something, especially if you're running in that event today, something to keep in mind. Okay. Well, don't love the humidity, but I do love the sunshine. <laughs> thanks so much, Stormy. And thanks so much for joining us this morning for 24-7 coverage you can count on. Breaking news, severe weather, go to waytv.com. The news continues with GMA. They'll have more coverage out of Uvalde live reports from that tragedy. And of course, we'll have a local news update for you at 723. Everyone have a safe and good Memorial Day weekend.